Yes, shalom. I give a praise on the glory to help us. Shema Shabbat Shem Kakadash. I'm double learning that I was an apostle of great most of Thomas Truth. Please bless in the salutation and hope for it. And all I can say is um my verse seven and ten. Hmm. My God, seven and ten and it says, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. But he said unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh Bashamah Shai thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And yeah, they're gonna be disregarded, man. <clears throat> and let me just play the video. So check this out. Men are getting braver. This is Quincy Wilson out of Oklahoma. He's attempting to kidnap a Lowe's employee right in the middle of the day. Thankfully, police have found him. They've arrested him. And hopefully he'll be put away for quite some time. Here we go again. Guy tries to kidnap this woman through the drive through window. That is a zip tie that he tries to get around her so he can pull her through. He's been captured, but police for some reason has not released his identity, which I hope they do immediately. This is scary. These men follow this girl up to her door, but she already knows what's going on. Listen. Even though she's home alone, she starts screaming for her mother. And then she just starts going wild. Obviously it works. But holy cow. This is why always, always, and I do this myself, pay attention to who's around you when you get out of your car, especially at nighttime. Thank you. Watch again. This is absolutely terrifying. Thank you. Many of you are going to say he was just joking. I do not care. You do not joke about that. Thank you. This happened in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And according to the woman in the description, charges are being filed. I tried to confirm this with some sort of news report, couldn't find anything, but I did find some threads on Reddit of people claiming to know the family, and they say, yes, it is true. This man is being charged. So good. Okay, I have an update to this man who grabbed this child and tried to take her. The mama reached out to me, and she said this man was not joking. Me. She explains that they were at a restaurant with a friend and in total they had six kids all there with them. And the man was allegedly trying to take advantage of the chaos. She says that he was hoping they weren't paying attention when he grabbed the little girl. She also says that the exit is right there. So as soon as he grabbed her, he was within feet of being outside of the restaurant. Thank you. And the girls who were filming, they were simply having fun. After it happened, the girls came up to the mother and offered to help. She says the police were called. Yeah, we, we, we see what's going on. And this is during the time <clears throat> where there is police, where there is support. 
And people are out here doing this. Or should I say, men are out here doing this. So I imagine during the time of Jacob's trouble, <clears throat> where literally it's going to be anarchy without rule. What do you think those crazy ass men are going to be doing in, during that time? <laughs> they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna have a field day, man. They're going to be going wild. <clears throat> and then that day, a lot of you women are going to be screwed. <coughs> but all I can say is, if you want to, if you want to remain strong and independent, and hop on the bandwagon of feminism and talk about your Nino man, go ahead. Because <coughs> there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason why in Isaiah four, and one says what it says. Where he talks about the reproach, but it's the reproach is shame. <clears throat> you know what? Let's get it. And it says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And a seven mean a complete number, a complete number of women. Saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by their name to take away our of reproach. And like it says, man. <clears throat> and if you, if you think about it, in today's age, what does the woman ask for? She wants you to pay her bills. She wants you to pay for the food. <clears throat> she wants you to buy her clothes. And in this time, like it says here, that they, they will willingly eat their own bread and wear their own apparel, which apparel means clothing. So <laughs> the only thing the one is going to be to be married. <clears throat> As it makes mention, only let us be called by thy name, which is marriage, where the woman takes the name of her husband. And like it says, to take away our approach, to take away what their shame and <clears throat> So although there's a lot of women who are going to be saved, there's still going to be a lot of women who aren't. It's as simple as that. And that, and to be honest, this lets us know how bad day good trouble is going to be. From from when <laughs> you're going to hear a woman saying, yeah, you don't need to pay none of the bills. You, 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 don't, you don't have to do any of um, the stuff that we require. <clears throat> and even then as well, you go on social media or <laughs> you go on YouTube and you see these women's expectations and what they want from a man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so unrealistic. <clears throat> but as you can see, because of the tribulation, because of the trouble, <clears throat> the only thing they're going to want is to be married. Or all, all those things that they desire is going to be thrown out the window, man. Literally, man. Look at the time at 9.44. Call it over, somehow share. But even then, <clears throat> the men of Yahweh, somehow share, or the men that believe in Yahweh, somehow share, or the men that the Lord has chosen, they're going to be rare, man, precious, in a time of trouble. Like it also makes mention. <clears throat> Isaiah 32 and 2, it says, A man shall be on a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest. There's rivers of war in a dry place and there's a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And <clears throat> if you think about these sort of things, it's basically saying a man is, is, is going to be like a shield, man, like a covering. Just like you mentioned of um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and, and are safe. The, the same way the <coughs> Lord's elect is going to be that way too, man. They're going to be a hiding place from the destruction. <clears throat> and that wind being, like it says, man. <clears throat> like it says. 
Jeremiah 51 and 1. This says the Lord, behold, I'll raise up against Babylon, against them that are in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. <clears throat> and that destroying wind basically meaning destruction, man. And a man's going to be a hiding place, a shelter, a, well, a sanctuary for these women, man. Or should I say for the women that the Lord has chosen to be saved. <clears throat> And that also adds up to what, with what the scripture say, man, about this. <coughs> First Timothy 2 and 15. Now is standing, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety. <coughs> so, yeah. What happens when you have sex, man? The man normally basically ejaculates into the woman and she gets pregnant. <clears throat> Just like over here with um Genesis twenty four sixty seven. It says Isaac brought her into her mother's Sarah's tent and took Rebecca and she became his wife and he loved her and Isaac was comforted. After his mother's death. <clears throat> so basically, they got married, man. They basically made a covenant. Because you got to remember, man. It's, it's the blood. It's the blood that brings about that covenant between man and woman. Hence why the Lord made mention of going into virgins. Or someone who hasn't basically been touched or entered into. Because <clears throat> that partnership, or not partnership... That covenant or that bond or that marriage in the eyes of the Lord is that blood of literally going on the run, man. As I mentioned here. <coughs> Exodus 24 and 8. And it says... And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it upon the people and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. So literally, the covenant between the man and woman or the marriage is essentially the man going to the woman and then the woman bleeds, man. And that blood symbolising the, what's it called, becoming one flesh, man. <clears throat> and that's what's going to happen during... The time of Isaiah 4 and 1, man. Women are going to want to get married. <coughs> but, like I said, man, a lot of women are not going to make it. So be happy if <clears throat> you are chosen by Yahweh Shem Hoshe to, to make it. But yeah, man. I hope this is the final one. Give a praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Hoshe.